afternoon everyone i am shubham garg i am industry consultant for rockwell automation india and i am today going to talk about the smart manufacturing in automotive segment so automotive industry has always been the front runner in adapting to the latest technologies and trends and also utilizing it to the best efforts so there are some factors as we see traditionally ic has been the platform over the decades that has been going on and we are utilizing but we see a change in trends happening now evs are coming up batteries are coming up and we need to adapt towards them so there are some factors which i wide which as an organizations we feel that is driving the change in automotive industries the complexities in the manufacturing are coming up the manufacturing plants want from a single line multiple variants could be taken up single batch from the the optimized production needs to be in a form of batch of one the compliances are rising up we need end to end traceability to for the genealogy things to happen agile manufacturing process we want every bit of the operational front to be optimized so that we can maximize the returns from them we need error proof operations first time quality should be right autonomous point of things should come up so these are some of the factors that are driving the changes in the automotive industries as an overall and with the ecosystem associated with them so while talking about this we have seen the digital transformation is one of the key things that is coming up in this industries now talking about what are the implementation barriers across this so as we see the with respect to various surveys or with respect to various market research with various big consulting firms and other automotive key players we have seen that there are some of the biggest barriers in terms of adoptions of digital transformations within the automotive fraternity so some of them are listed like difficult team coordinating actions within their organization these are intra organizational issues also lack of courage to take the initiatives within this organization to take the ownership within that lack of talent also the the knowledge base the right resources which should be equipped on those projects are also lacking within those organizations in fact to have those to add to those issues cyber security is one of the key concerns that is coming up with their respect to networks and the overall implementations of digital transformation journey within an organizations and obviously when one goes to with the presentations of one with, when one goes to an internal organizations to sell this digital transformations he needs to have a proper business case with respect to linking of those business kpis that how he would be beneficial to his organization so that is some of the key barriers which we have seen that are missing or has been a hindrance towards adoptions of digital transformations within the automotive fraternity plus add on to this with some advanced manufacturers we have realized that uh, data ownership issues are coming up people want to move to cloud there are private cloud public cloud things but the few organizations feel that their data might be leaked the data might go away with them so their ownership issues comes around with them they feel uncertainty about whether it should be in house done or they should hire a consultant partner or they should hire a implementation partner who could assess them so these all challenges we have seen with respect to the implementations of uh, digital transformation journey within the automotive fraternity so what happens now is why you want to assess yourself where is your organization today so it's not just about it or ot being sensorized and the data being coming across on these so once you want to assess yourself where your organization stands on this with respect to the digital maturity side there are seven pillars that has been identified it's on the ot side it side the data analytics portion comes into picture the process portions the workforce which is one of the critical elements the automation piece and also on the security piece that is critical to assess and among this you can have your maturity level being tested across various pointers so if for example it to uh, on the ot side how to what level is my shop floor autonomous to what level have have been using sensors or the plcs or the drives or the safeties or the motions things and how not, how much autonomous operations are happening on it so according to those those parameters you can identify at what stage you are and if you see here from static manual on the left left most portion to the right most is uh, self organizing and dynamic industry so those all things are the pillar which will help you assess your right situations and take your steps for the forward journey moving on towards on the digitalization as i talked about one of the key barriers was in terms of identification of the right business case linking it to the right kpis so that you feel out a correct business context to your organizations what we have seen is there are these are the top four digital solution cases 
under this you see with respect to the impact low impact to high impact but what we have seen is most of the use cases are primitively revolving around the production controls the reliable operations digital quality connected workers so there are different use cases listed here and one has to identify these use cases which one is right for their organization which would have maximum impact within your organization to assess it positive and that's where you keep you be choosy and select out of these use cases and go in in a pointed direction so that it could bear results for you in a fruitful manner so talking on this uh, what we have seen is one of the most important use case that comes out is always on the predictive maintenance side or the analytics methodology how from the data we gathered across how we can use those data to get into those predictions and prescriptions and models so talking around an analytics methodology here's an approach that we have used with our customers and what we prescribe in terms of the analytics so normally we start start with the describe phase where from the analytics lens or the data science lens when i use i identify the parameters and build out a sort of a hypothesis model which which describes my business context and also on the issues then i move into the phase of diagnose where i work on those data models which i created as an hypothesis link it refine it and see what impacts is coming what are the parameters that is affecting and then we get into the prediction model of it because that's where i come to understand that these are the process parameters which is affecting my operations and might be able to improve if those can be completed in a right manner or those could be corrected and moving on from predict then it has to be in a closed loop feedback where we prescribe it and then closed loop it with the automation machinery within the shop floor so that it becomes a closed loop and the autonomous correction actions happens this shows a complete uh, vanity of uh, solutions that an analytics model from end where it shows first identifies the problems to the end of itself solving it out in a closed loop so here is one of the case studies that we have done for uh, one of our famous tire manufacturer i can name it it's a total autonomous control that we have given it to him it was earlier you can say we have gone 60 years back to terms that machine itself is taking control now for their operations we implemented this analytics methodology ai and ml case with them where the tire splices were coming of a bad quality we started with the same phase of uh, describe then diagnose predict where we identified that the tire splices are not of good quality those parameters were taken in those process parameters were improved and then the models went on simulations and it went on improving itself and it goes into a closed loop those the parameters were fed into the plcs of those things and again circle back to give a right quality mix of uh, good tires and there was an increase in number of tires productions also for them so such similar methodologies can be implemented across the complete shops of automotive industries if i talk about beat stamping body invite paint drive unit battery module and pack beat evs beat the conventional ic engines such models could be employed with respect to iots and analytics and ml could be done to make it an autonomous operations that we want to attain in the future so i would say uh, rockwell automation has been a uh, leading companies in the field of industrial automation as well as the digitalization manufacturing software we understand the shop floor we understand the top floor we have the enterprise zero software available with us we offer in terms of a solution methodology we come understand your business understand your operations we analyze which are the relevant business cases for you we link it to your kpis work around with you for your the linking it to the finance and rois and then have a single trusted partner for the complete scalability of solutions and implementation so connected enterprise is something that we always boast around and this is a journey when someone's do not take themselves uh, people do not feel confident of so rockwell automation itself has taken this journey across in all their 18 manufacturing plants and we are a, we can say we have multiple skus that are being produced within our facilities around 200 skus that are being uh, 200k US skus that are being produced with an average life cycle of 20 years for per product so those products are also engineered to order some some ones are for stock configurations and all and we have realized the digital transformation benefits we have seen our inventory being reduced from 120 days to 82 days capex savings around 
delivery has improved for us, lead times are reduced and also on the quality uptimes and good quality products are there. So overall as an experience, we have an end-to-end -end experience. Our vision is to bring connected enterprise towards the fraternity and automotive being a front runner, we would request all of you to take this journey in a very thoughtful manner, in a pointed manner, identify your business context, your KPIs, what you want to achieve and have it not as a wholesome solution that everyone uses that we wanted to do a digital transformation, but instead go on with a, in a loop of point solutions where do one thing, but it is not scalable. So we have to take a scalable approach and that's where Rockwell Automation can help you all. We also, I'd just like to bring in notice, we also have a booth uh, outside. You can come in around and we can discuss more around all this. Thank you.